all you A group people. Here is our weekly outline for the week of September 28th through October 2nd. We're going to be working on the Confederation years, 1781 to 1789. The big deal here is the revolution is over and America is now an independent country. We are super happy about that, but boy, are we going to struggle with being independent at first. So let me show you where we're headed for this week. Um, Monday, when you are in school, we're going to do some work with the Northwest Territory. You might remember back to the Proclamation of 1763 said American colonists were not allowed to move west of the Appalachian Mountains. Well, that rule was set up by the British, and the British are gone. They're not in charge here anymore. So now people want to move out there, and we're going to come up with a good thing, actually a way for people to move there and begin to live. On Tuesday, the 29th, at home, you'll learn more about that document called the Articles of the Confederation. It's the second of the five documents you must know to pass eighth grade American cultures. You've got to know the Declaration of Independence that we learned about last week. You've got to know the Articles of Confederation that we're learning about this week. Uh, so we'll work on that. On Wednesday, you'll be in school and we'll start to work on some of the problems of the Articles of Confederation years. We thought we wanted a weak government, but once we made one, it's just not working. Also, remember Wednesday, your preamble is due if you haven't already done it or said it. Thursday, you'll be at home and you'll take a little uh, field trip to Philadelphia via your computer. We'll visit the Betsy Ross House and the Liberty Bell. On Friday, you'll also be at home. Sorry, no current events for you this week. Uh, we'll learn the story that kind of shows us we have to have a better government. Uh, Shays Rebellion is a pretty big problem in Massachusetts, proving that our Articles of Confederation government just isn't working. And then next week, we'll go into what we're going to do to fix that, which will be the third important uh, document that you must know in this class, the Constitution of the United States. You learn the preamble to the Constitution that says we need a more perfect union. Well, the Articles of Confederation we're learning about this week is that union that's not working. That's why we need a more perfect one. And we need to solve some of the problems that this Confederation government can't solve. That's where we're headed for this week.